In today's video, we will be doing in-depth description about how to do paint spray. Well, mask of everything. First of all, you need to take preparation mask of everything like windows, shrubs, curls, wig tape, drop clothes or plastic to shield from overspray and protect yourself with a respirator, goggles and hood. For the smoothest finish, thin down the coating. Painting contractor John D prefers quick evaporating naphtha for oil based finishes which helps the paint dry before it sets. And next fan settings. Some guns have an adjustable tape which allows you to change the size and shape of the fan of paint it puts out. Test your gun before the spraying to find a shape and volume that helps you to control the overspray but still gives efficient effective coverage. Next, hand position. Point the gun straight at the surface holding the tip about 12 inches away. If the hand gun is angled, the spray will be thicker on one side than other. Move your arm, not your wrist, to keep the gun straight. And next, we have spraying motion. To avoid build-up, start spraying off one side of the workpiece and don't release the trigger until the spray has passed the other end. If you're painting a wall or other surface with no edge, start moving your arm before pulling the trigger and release it before you finish the motion. Overlap each pass about an inch to avoid sex or thin spots. The box coat technique I will describe John D builds a thin coat of finish using a spray pattern he calls the box coat technique. Well, in which he lays down the paint first horizontally, then vertically. This method works especially well on panel doors and cabinets. Clean up. Painting that has dried in a sprayer's hose or gun can cause clogs that make the sprayer sputter and spatter. Immediately after use, remove the tape and soak it in the appropriate solvent. Rinse out the cup with the same solvent, then run more solvent through the lines and cups until all the paint is flushed out and the solvent runs clean. Well, that's all for my today's video. Thanks for watching. Hope you find it useful. If you did, then do like, share, subscribe to my channel, and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Till then, stay tuned with Tech Review World.